creating pollution for people around and also there is not enough water, basic amenities like ventilation, flooring and minimum better harness, better devices we don't have. And therefore the other area in which our cutman has been working for the last 40 years has been to improve the slaughter system in the country so that the meat will be produced will be hygienic and more waste wastages can be reduced. Animals will not have to suffer during slaughter. At the same time, pollution can be totally eliminated. Another innovation which we have done in this area is the so-called 150 million animals are being slaughtered per year in this country about, and about 50 million large animals and 150 million small animals and 1 billion chicken are being slaughtered in this country worth about 20,000 crores. This asset really belongs to rural people. But what's happening now is the livestock meat animals are born in the rural area for milking or working or are raised for meat in the case of sheep and goat and pigs. But they're all being brought to city, urban-based slaughter, municipal slaughterhouses. They are being brought by trucks, trains and walking. And during the process of this transportation from rural area to urban area, there's a lot of wastage en route. About 30% is wastages. Animals undergo a tremendous amount of suffering. And therefore, meat also become fibrous. And what you call the, the, the quality of the meat comes down. And therefore, our innovation which we have done is to propose that animals be slaughtered in rural areas, near the market maybe, animal dense areas, where surplus animals become available, sheep and goats are being reared in those areas, or livestock are, are the main source of income. If that is done, what we call the rural abattoir scheme, if it is introduced, animals can be killed in panchayat abattoirs, or small, small abattoirs, or tiny, mini abattoirs can be built, and from there, carcasses can be taken in deep freeze trucks or air-cooled trucks to urban area for consumption. 90% of the consumption is in urban area. Now today the misfortune is that these 150 million animals which are being slaughtered plus 50 million large animals which are being slaughtered are walking on an average about 200 kilometers to 2000 kilometers to the urban areas. And all urban areas are so polluted that the meat produced is filthy, unhygienic, it's a health hazard not only for the people who are eating the meat but also people who are living around slaughterhouses. So modernization of slaughterhouses is the first, another major project which we have, been under, which we have undertaken in the last 30, 40 years. We are, pretty, we are the first people to produce a, a report on meat. A committee was con constituted by the government and we participated in that. We produced the first meat report, a report on me, uh, animals and environment, a environment meaning plant life. We, animals are underfed in our country. Our livestock are getting very little of food. Actually speaking, we need 100 million hectares of land for pasture land. We are having hardly 10 million and actually speaking, I believe it seems that it's only 4 million. China has got 200 million hectares of land to feed their livestock, which is only one third of India's livestock. And therefore what we need to do is to improve rural, to introduce rural-based abattoirs, modern abattoirs, introduce stunning so that animals will not have to suffer during suffering. And therefore, what are the benefits we are going to get? One, the wastages are reduced, animal suffering is reduced, pollution is eliminated, and urban areas can become clean, and ultimately, meat will be also clean. In this process, the rural income will go up by at least what you call 20,000 to 30,000 crores. Actually, value added, which is an indication which is now ought to be remain in the rural area are now being appropriated by the urban area. And one reason for India's poverty of 300 million people being below the poverty line is all because whatever was being done 100 years ago in the rural area are now being done appropriated by the urban people. So here is a classic case where we can transfer back urban value added back to the rural area whereby farmers will get more money by plying uh, bullock carts during the off season when there are no work in the paddy field and also rearing animals for meat 
and also all animals which are ready for slaughter. Eight million buff male buffalo cows are being killed every year because they are not utilized. These animals can be utilized. Small animals or I would say non-adult animals can also be put to work. We have also designed better harnessing devices by which the productivity of the uh, plowing and carting can be improved, doubled or even trebled. And therefore, there's a great deal of research work to be done. Unfortunately, our, three, our 30, 40 agricultural universities and our 200, 2000 engineering colleges, none of the ICR institutions, veterinary colleges are not doing anything to improve either the bullock cart system or the slaughter system in the country. Only in the last 10 years, a few private sector companies are come into being, particularly in the north, where they have put up modern slaughterhouses in order to... And we are exporting meat, about 2,000 crores worth of meat are being exported. Of course, it's not a good thing. Ultimately, vegetarianism is going to come. We are also campaigning for vegetarianism from the point of view of health, from the point of view of hygiene, from the point of view of environment, from the point of view of animal suffering and culture. Though it will take a long time for people to become vegetarian, meanwhile we should improve slaughterhouses at one end, establish rural-based appetites at the other, and also improve bullock carts at the other. This particular program will need, uh, only government is saving about 20,000 crores worth of foreign exchange every year. If they can only allot about 5,000 crores, out of this 20,000 crores, the whole rural economy will change rural will change. Otherwise, you will see in the last 63 years of our independence, our 300 million people are still below the poverty line, 50% 50, 50 of our people are still illiterate and unhygienic, 500 million people are not even a to basic toilet facility, piped water, etc., etc. All this is because we are, rural economy has been neglected by the what you, education system, the training system, the modernization system. Therefore, Cartman has been engaged is the only institution in India which has been seriously studying on animals and environment, bullock cart improvement, slaughter improvement, raw rural abattoirs, rural animal, the interface between anima, plant life and animals and animal welfare, vegetarianism and such subjects which are of vital importance to our country. Unfortunately, because our education system is westernized, they have, do not see the actual problems on the field that means appropriate technology we are the first institution in the country to propagate the need for an appropriate technology relevant management for india to come forward this has been done by countries like china and many other countries in the world but somehow we do not have we are still concentrating on uh, what's called urban based industries uh, and also mechanization, automation, etc., etc., are taking place, which we are not against. Ultimately, we have to do mechanization, automation. Every activity in the country should be modernized. A, 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 day should, a, a beautiful day should come when animals should not become an item for food, but should be a partner for man. So, uh, we have uh, the we have a, a government of Karnataka has made available to us a two-acre land where we have educated, called, called Cartman Park, we call it, where man-animal-nature relationship is being demonstrated by a variety of ways. We have got training program, we have got documentary production program, we have two, three journals, we have publicity, seminars, conferences, we are preparing reports for the government of India. But we should accept, concede defeat in the sense that in spite of all these years, we were not able to make a significant improvement in the situation. The Ministry of Environment and Forest have come forward. Earlier, Kapart used to help us. Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy used to help us. Ministry of Rural Development used to help us. But those people help has come down and the Ministry of Environment has given us some funding support to have a project on animals and environment. And this documentary is being produced with the support of the Ministry of Environment and Forest. We have also been recognized as an echo park we have been recognized as the Botanical Garden of India and therefore the, we, can't, we, we are very hopeful that in the years to come things will improve and we are hoping that public awareness has to be created and this documentary is being create, produced for public consumption so the public become aware of the importance of livestock to man's welfare 
importance of mechanization, automation, modernization of slaughterhouses for man's welfare. And I hope that these people will take cognizance of the importance of this vital factor. Out of 100 percent GNP, 20 percent is coming from livestock alone, livestock and food grain. That should give much more attention. Government is spending a lot of money. A large number of programs are going on in the country, but they are not efficient. They are not effective because of lack of good management. Rural management, we are yet to learn how we can deliver modernization to the rural areas through better delivery system. Our delivery systems are consuming 75% of the money allotted to rural development are being consumed by the delivery system. The delivery system has to be improved by a new model as to be brought about. Appropriate technology for the non-organized sector, appropriate management for the non-organized sector is the key for India's development.